How's it going everyone, Tavius here, and today we're talking Starfire Protocol, one of the original Red War Vanilla Destiny 2 exotics for the Warlocks that no one expected to make a return. Well, with Solar 3.0 it's back, and if you're a Warlock you need to know about this. As usual, we'll go over the subclass aspects and fragments, next we'll go over the armor and armor mods, and last some weapon recommendations to get the most out of Starfire Protocol with Solar 3.0. Let's begin. For our super, we're going to need Well of Radiance, with a base cooldown of 6 minutes 57 seconds. Well of Radiance got updated with Solar 3.0 to include the new verbs Restoration and Radiant, which are new to the game. Restoration regenerates your health and shields over time for 8 seconds, and Radiant gives your weapons a damage boost for the duration of the buff, which is 10 seconds. But Well of Radiance lasts for 30 seconds if not damaged by enemies, so you can have Radiance and Restoration longer while standing in the well. For our ability, we're going with Empowering Rift. To be honest, I hardly ever use Empowering Rift, I'm always that guy that jumps in with Healing Rift, Guns Blazing, but this season we have a mod with the Seasonal Artifact that grants us Restoration with our class ability, so we can empower our weapons and heal ourselves with Restoration all in one Rift. We're also using Celestial Fire, especially since now it applies Scorch to enemies. This melee ability sends out a spiral of 3 explosive solar energy blasts, and each one of those applies 10 stacks of Scorch for a total of 30. And our Fusion Grenade. This grenade with our exotic armor piece in our next aspect will allow us to throw so many grenades, I honestly don't think Bungie intended for this to work as good as it does, but let's take advantage of it while it's available. Also remember that this grenade also applies Scorch to enemies. The aspect I'm talking about is Touch of Flame. Enhances Healing, Solar, Firebolt, and Fusion Grenades. For Fusion Grenades, it gives it a second detonation. So now our Fusion Grenades explode twice for double damage. And we also have Heat Rises, allowing us to fire weapons, melee, and throw grenades while gliding, which is really useful. We can also consume our grenade to activate Heat Rises, releasing a burst of healing around us. Now let's talk about the Fragments. The Ember of Combustion. Final blows with your Solar Super cause targets to ignite. Since we're using Well of Radiance, any weapon kill while standing on the well causes targets to ignite. We also get plus 10 to our melee. The Ember of Wonder, rapidly defeating multiple targets with solar ignitions generate an orbital power, with 10 points on resilience. Remember that any kills while on the Well of Radiance makes enemies ignite, creating orbs of power to get our well back quicker. The Ember of Ashes, you apply more Scorch stacks to targets. Celestial Fire will apply 15 stacks of Scorch per Energy Blast with this Fragment, up from 10, for a total of 45 stacks per melee. And for the last Fragment, we have the Ember of Char. Your Solar Ignitions spread Scorch to affected targets. We'll be applying Scorch with Celestial Fire and with our Fusion Grenade, and igniting with kills while standing on a Well of Radiance. Those Ignitions will spread more Scorch to enemies nearby. These four fragments I'm using are pretty much around Scorch and Ignite for the most part, while also recharging my Well of Radiance as soon as possible. I decided to not build around Radiant since our Well of Radiance and our Empowering Rift both boost the damage of our weapons, so we don't really need Radiant. And that's the subclass, now let's talk Armor and Armor Mods. On my helmet I've equipped a Harmonic Siphon to spawn Orbs of Power with Solar Weapon Rapid Kills. Then I have a Grenade Launcher Ammo Finder and Font of Might to gain a temporary weapon damage boost when picking up solar elemental wells. This one is helpful during the time that you don't have a Well of Radiance or Empowering Rift going. Solar elemental wells boost your solar weapons. Moving on to my arms, I have a melee kickstart to get some melee energy immediately after using our Celestial Fire. You get about one fifth of your melee back immediately, really nice to have. Then I have an Overload SMG, but this could be any champion mod depending on the weapon you choose to run. SMGs and auto rifles have the Overload mod, Pulse Anti-Barrier or Unstoppable with Scout Rifles. Now the star of the show, Starfire Protocol. Like I said, we've had this exotic in our vaults for almost 5 years with almost zero use until now. If you're new to the game or somehow don't have it, it can drop randomly from any exotic drop or bot from Xur on rotation. Fusion Harness. Fusion Grenades have an additional charge and recharge from Empower Weapon Damage. Fusion Grenade kills Grand Rift Energy. So one thing I want to make clear, Empower Weapon Damage doesn't mean Radiant. I tested dealing damage while Radiant to see if I could get my Fusion Grenade to recharge and it did not work. You have to be standing on a Well of Radiance or Empowering Rift for it to work. This is why I decided to not include Radiance in my Fragment choices. Also, the last part, Fusion Grenade kills Grand Rift Energy. More like completely refunds your Rift. 
With our touch of flame aspect, fusion grenades explode twice, so a lot of times you get the kill with the first detonation, then the second kills one or two more enemies, getting you the entire rift back. The mods I have on this exotic are Armor of the Dying Star to reduce incoming solar and void damage, a grenade launcher reserves and elemental ordnance to generate solar elemental wells with grenade kills. Lots of solar elemental wells for sure. Moving on to the legs, I have a rocket launcher scavenger and elemental armaments to generate solar elemental wells with solar weapon kills. Now moving on to the class item, I went with classy restoration and solar fulmination, both from the seasonal artifact, only for season of the haunted. Classy restoration heals you and your shields when activating your rift and Solar Fulmination enhances ignitions doing increased damage in an increased radius. Before we go over the weapons and how the build works, on my stats I have both Super and Grenade at tier 8. My Super at a 5 minutes and a half cooldown and Grenade at 36 seconds. Now let's talk about Wither Horde, the exotic grenade launcher released in Season of Arrivals. This weapon is purchasable from the monument to Lost Last Kiosk at the tower. You need an exotic cipher and ascendant shard. Wither Horde's intrinsic trait, Primeval Torment, blight the target or a nearby area on impact. When you blight a target, they take damage over time and blight the nearby area on death. This damage over time is what's going to be key for this fusion grenade build. If you don't have this weapon yet, you can do something pretty close to it with Osteostriga, the exotic SMG that spreads poison doing also damage over time. But Wither Horde works best because you can shoot your Wither Horde at a boss and swap to your energy weapon while Wither Horde does damage over time you keep getting your fusion grenade back. Also the catalyst for Wither Horde gives it auto loading holster so after a few seconds you can swap back to Wither Horde and not have to reload. For our energy weapons we have options. Currently I'm obsessed with the returning SMG Kalos mini tool. Haven't been able to craft it yet, but this role I have is Unrelenting, which triggers health regeneration by rapidly defeating targets, and Incandescent, defeating targets spread Scorch to those nearby. With this perk, we have another way to spread Scorch and Ignite. There is quite a few weapons that can roll with Incandescent with the new season, so find what works for you. Other non-Incandescent weapon choices could be the BR Battler, or the Ogma PR6 with Demolitionist, and then you'll really never be without fusion grenades. The Arctic Haze is also a very good and stable auto rifle, and of course any weapon with the incandescent perk would be great. And for the heavy weapon, I'm using the Ascendancy Rocket Launcher from Season of the Lost, with Ambitious Assassin and Chain Reaction, mostly because I'm going to be spamming grenades and Wither Horror on bosses, so the rockets will for the most part be used on adds, and Chain Reaction is great for that. A sword will also work great here if you like to plant your well irradiance directly on top of the boss. So with this fusion grenade warlock build, we're going to abuse the Starfire Protocol exotic chest piece. Our Wither Horde exotic grenade launcher will apply damage over time to bosses, which at the same time will boost the regeneration of our fusion grenade while we stand on our Well of Radiance or Empowering Rift. Our Rift also grants us restoration with the Classic Restoration mod, and our grenades detonate twice spreading Scorch to nearby targets with the Touch of Flame aspect. Our grenade and our celestial fire will generate solar elemental wells and apply scorch stacks to targets, stacks that get increased with the Ember of Ashes fragment. All these scorch targets will ignite getting kills while in our well of radiance with the Ember of Combustion, and ignitions will generate also power so we can get our well of radiance back and throw fusion grenades at bosses non-stop. And there it is my friends, if you like fusion grenades double explosions and wither horror, you've got to try this. I hope you found this informative, if you did a like and heavy attack on the subscribe button is greatly appreciated. If you have any suggestions on how to make this build better, or video suggestions, drop them in the comments. If you'd like to join my new Discord community where you can contact me, I'll link it down in the description. I want to thank you all for your viewership and if you want to watch other informative Destiny videos, you can click here.